Hey YouTube, I'm going to give a quick update on my planted Wastad jar aquarium. And did you notice anything different about my java fern? We're going to talk about that as well. My name is Jake and this is Raccoon Creek Aquatics, where we cover aquarium topics in general and planted tanks in particular. If you're new to this channel, why don't you consider subscribing so you don't miss anything. If this is the first video you've seen on my planted jar aquarium, this jar holds about one gallon of water. The substrate is 88 aquasoa that I had left over. The decoration is Malaysian driftwood. The lighting for this jar is just a desk lamp that my wife picked out with a 40 watt bulb. I've said this before, but if you allow your tank to fit into your wife's style, she's more likely to be cool with it and even enjoy it. And I still stand by the statement. Let me know what you think about this theory with a comment down below. So the plants in this jar are two marmo moss balls, four sedge, java fern, and a pothos plant coming out the top of the jar. The dwarf sedge and the pothos seem to be loving life in this jar. I've had a lot of fun watching this pothos. It's so cool watching it sprout stems and leaves as it grows. Now here's where we get into some of the changes. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have a different java fern in this jar than I did before. The one snail I have in this jar devoured the original java fern. That makes me believe this original java fern wasn't doing well from the start because snails typically eat dead or dying plant matter. Which isn't too far-fetched because it was about 12 degrees Fahrenheit when I received that plant in the mail. As far as maintenance goes, it's super easy. I did about three water changes that first week, then one water change every two weeks, and now I do a water change about every third or fourth week of the month. I just use air tube lining to siphon out the water and get any loose debris I can. I have the desk lamp on a timer and that's on about six hours a day. I recommend doing a jar like this because they're low maintenance and they're a lot of fun. Remember, when it comes to planted tanks, if I can do it, so can you. I'll see you next time.